what's up guys if you join it for the first time you are welcome and thanks for watching some more npc content and let's talk a little bit about the npc e pads i got a question i was asked how do you actually get these kits onto your npc they watched some information but it wasn't detailed enough in their opinion so i said i'll do a video on it i'm going to first give my opinion on these npc e pads just a little opinion this is my opinion only it doesn't mean that it's going to apply to everyone in my opinion, these NPC E pads are not all it's cracked up to be. They're a little difficult to use based on the surface of the pads, the size of the pads. If you have fat fingers or large fingers, I don't see how these NPC E pads are gonna work for you. So don't feel so bad or don't feel like you're missing out on something. It's just more of a selling point in my opinion. It is great technology. It's different, it's new. No other group box has it, but actual use of the NPC E pads it's a whole nother story. If you do perform with the NPC Live 3, 2, or NPC Live, please put it in the comments. Let me know if these pads actually even work for you, if you even use them. Enough about that. Let's actually get into the idea or the concept of actually getting these kits, these NPC E kits, onto your NPC Live 3. After all, it is better to have something and never use it than to need it and not have it. And after all, you did pay for this. So let me show you how to get it onto your NPC Live 3. First thing you're gonna to need to do is you're going to have to come to profile.mmusicbrands.com. You're gonna to have to set up your account if you don't have one. And it's not my favorite site, but it's okay. You still have to set up a profile either way if you wanna get these expansion kits onto your device. You can also go to the airmusictech.com site and it's the Air Store. And you can also download Software Center I use a Mac, so here you have the option to either download for Mac or download for Windows. Let's go back to the account. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna first register your account and then they'll say register details, but you can see your register details. And over here to the right, you'll see software downloads and you'll see a music software center. You click on that and here you can download for your Mac or your PC. And alternatively, you can also go to this other site that I told you about the Air Store, and you can download it here as well. Once you have your account set up and everything, you wanna put your NPC into controller mode. And if you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. You just go to the main screen and you'll see a little chip icon in the top row. And that's where you put your NPC Live 3 into controller mode. Now, again, most of us know how to do this, but there are some people out there who are just picking up an NPC for the first time, or maybe they never used an NPC, they have heard about it, but they never took the plunge, they decided to take the plunge with this NPC Live 3. I apologize if this information is a bit redundant. No such thing as too much information. So once you set up your Music Software Center, you downloaded everything, you can open it up, follow the prompts, and voila, get into your account. And here you have access to your products, your software, your hardware, all of this good stuff that they have here. As you can see, I don't have a lot of this stuff activated. I don't use a lot of this crap. I feel that it's just extra stuff to do. I'm trying to do music, so I don't even use a lot of this stuff, but to those of you who want it, and for those of you who want everything you pay for, I don't blame you. You come here and this is how you activate it or deactivate it or buy it or whatever it is that you do. I just wanna show you, you have access to everything here. With that said, you scroll down to your expansions because we're looking for the NPC expansion kit and here it is right here. So here they have a little arrow here. You have to click down on that arrow and here you have the standalone option here, NPCE Expressive Kits. So you can go ahead and download that, however long it takes. Okay, good to go. Now that's all downloaded and extracted. It says here, show in folder. So you're gonna click here and this is where you're going to see your Expressive Kits right here. Let's close out of this and go to the desktop now. As you can see here, I actually created a folder called NPC data onto my Mac desktop. And I dragged anything that I installed or downloaded, I just dragged it into this folder. Here's my NPC -E expressive kits right here. We'll get back to that. Over here to the right, you also see my three drives because I'm in controller mode. You have your NPC user drive, you have your NPC content drive, and I also have my own SSD drive that I installed into the NPC Live 3. That's a whole nother video, but we'll get back to that. So let's open up this folder here and let's open up the kits 
folder. And this is where you have all of your content here. Drum tools, template kits, textures, genre kits, sub bass, all of that good stuff, right? You also have your PDF instructions here that come in the folder and it tells you exactly what to do. They actually recommend that you use an internal side of drive for ease of use. They say that because they actually don't have enough room on the drive to install this kit. I, I mean, I don't know why they went and put this on to start with, but that's why they tell you to use a SATA drive, which is recommended. It also says here to create a root directory on your drive. So you can look at these instructions when you download it. I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but let's go to the drive. So this is my SATA drive here. I'm going to create a folder and we're going to call it expansions. So now that expansions folder is there. Let's close out of this and we can drag this NPC expressive kits folder to the drive. And now it's going on to the drive and it's done. What we're going to do is we're going to actually drag this into our expansions folder like that. And now the expressive kits is in that expansions folder that we created. So let's close out of here and let's go over to the live three so we can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so we're here on our NPC live three. We just installed the NPC e expansions kit onto the actual device in standalone mode. So we're gonna go into browser and now we can go into expansions we scroll down and here you see the expansions kit right here with an M. I guess the artwork hasn't uh, fully changed over yet, but hopefully at some point, maybe the artwork will show up But whatever, as long as the kit is there. But this is the kit. You click into the kit and here's where you have all of your expansions, your templates and all of that other good stuff. And that's how you get the NPC E expansions kit onto your live three. It actually hasn't been too much hype around it. I guess people are kind of passing on this and I get it. Maybe it'll pick up some steam later. But for those of you who have picked it up, this is how you actually download the APCE expansions kit onto your live three. That's going to bring this one to a close. I hope this helped until the next time I catch you guys in the next video. Take care.